right, we're going to roll right here, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to start with seven and seven. And no, not the drink. We're going to start with some bronc riding. The bronc riding is going to be right down here to my right, right in front of you. And it is go time. We're going to run seven here tonight. We're going to run seven at the end of the rodeo. All right, so as soon as we get the names of the Bronc Rider, we'll let you know who they are. We want to take McCloy Rodeo Company. They are the ones that bring us these great horses right here. Alan and Janice McCloy from McCloy Rodeo Company, Sunray, they bring us a good set. Anytime you call and ask for them, we are looking for our Cowboys from Henderson and Durham Ranches. Cashy and Clipfield is going to be the Cowboy that is riding for them. Good horse right here has shut the door. Nope, that's not right. Alimony makes his way in. The cowboy looking for an eight second whistle. Looks like he's gonna get it right there. And so the first man out is gonna be the first man with a score. Alimony and Cashy and Clip fell able to get it done. They're gonna score it like this, one to 25 for the cowboy. One to 25 for the horse, possible score of 50 per side. Total score of 100 is achievable. Never have we had a 100 point ride in all the years that we've been rodeoing. So it looks like Joe Shadel and July Johnson are our judges. They're gonna be giving us the scores right here. Joe. Joe, we're gonna need your score again. Let's go down to Thompson Ranch. Thompson's going to be up. It's going to be Colton Burnett. He's going to be the man that rides for them. Apache Moon is the cowboy. That's the horse he's on. Big, pretty paint horse right down here, giving our pickup Ben Fitz. He's on the ground, and he can hear you know him. We're going to find out what our score was from the last ride and from this ride as well. Our pickup men, two of the best you'll find, Travis Sheets. And Bo Franzen, they're the men out there helping the Cowboys to the ground, escorting the big, pretty McCoy rodeo horses out of the arena. Hold up just a moment. We're going to hold tight for just a second. We've got to make sure we get square on these scores. Our judges need to make sure we have our scores, and then we can continue forward. We try to move things along at a pretty rapid pace right here, but the one thing that you want to remember is that we have a lot of work in parts, and so we've got to make sure that all those parts are on go. We'll see what happens right here and see what these guys tell us. Judges, we need to make sure that we're right. All right, so out here you see our pickup personnel getting things right down there. Cowboy on the big pretty bucks again horse right here close to me on the far side. His counterpart on a big dun horse down there. Those guys work hard to make sure that everything is right. Not only are they going to be picking up cowboys, escorting horses out. Hold tight down there just a minute, man. Jared, are things getting any better out there or is it still just as bad? All right, so the scores come in. 71 for the Henderson Durham crew. Thompson Ranch took a 60 with an option of a re-ride. I suppose Colton's probably going to take that. Right now, we are headed... Looks like we're going down to the next cowboy right down here. Shoot number... All right, looks like we have got the crease in the cattle company. And as the cowboy makes his way around right down there to the south end, pick up men, pinched him off, putting him on the ground. Not the best place to get off, but he's okay moving now. He can hear you. And so the cowboy gets it done. That is going to be Tyler Fogelson. Nice job, Tyler. Let's see what they think about your ride right there. As that cowboy came in with a horse they called Shut the Door by Alan McCoy. So we'll find out what happens right here for the cowboy. And it's going to be 69. 69 for the cowboy. Going to put him in about second place unofficially. So we have a 71, a 69, and a 60 with a little unfinished business. My guess is we'll see Thompson Ranch again, but I'm going to have to make sure that that is right. And if that is the case, we'll let you know. All right, let's go to Winders and Durham right here. They're going to be up. So, oh, Winders and Parent, sorry about that. Winders Cattle Company, Parent Cattle Company. They're going to be up. Mike Trump has drawn Big Sissy. Big Sissy is the name of the horse. McCoy Rodeo Company. We're able to go throughout the course of the year and do a lot of great events with McCoy. 
Right now you're watching Big Sissy and Mike Crump make their way into the arena. It's an eight second ride right here. We would like to say thank you to the sponsor of our bronc riding. That is our friends at Amarillo National Bank. And as you can see, they picked a good one. Look at this big high kicking horse right here. Down across the penny goes into the shade of the grandstands right there. The Cowboy gets it done. Yet another score is going to be coming in. All right, you bet. Joe McCoy Rodeo Company brings us a good set. If you have time and get the chance, Back here behind the rope or behind the bucket shoots off to the south side of the arena here of the announcer stand. We've got some mares and colts down there that McCoy brought. And boy, they are a good ones. Raise them in that born to buck program, and that is what he does. All right, Winders comes in. Mike Crump, he's going to like his score. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new leader right there. 78 points, 78 for Winders Cattle and Perrin Cattle Companies. Mike Crump puts a huge lead on them right there by seven points. Let's go down here to Schneider XIT. Schneider XIT ranches, Kansas team right here comes to us. They've drawn a horse called Miles City. Miles City is the horse Frank Morton has drawn. And Frank Morton, former college standout, former PRCA bronc rider, got himself a family, had some kids, decided he better settle down. And now he is a top hand for the Schneider and XIT crew. Still ride the Bronx as good as anybody in the country. And let's watch right here as Big Frank steps out and gets across right down the middle of the pan with a head snapping Bronx right here all the way to the end. And here comes your pickup, man. Frank knows how to do this. He's done it a lot. He's going to try to get himself in a position where he can get down easy. Takes the dive right there, and he can hear you now. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? I'm talking about a nice ride for Frank Morton of Schneider and XIT. So as we talked about, there's going to be seven in the front and seven in the back. There may be eight of them at the second section, as we may see the boys from Thompson make another run at them. So our secretary up here, Tina Waite, one of her counterparts serving as our timers and secretary. And a good score coming in for Frank Morton. Not going to put him in the first place, but moves him easily into second with a 77-point ride. So, all right, let's go down to the alley ranches. But Lakin, they tell me, is going to be riding for them. So this good cowboy right here, this is one of the guys that you want to watch, Lakin Alley. He has a tough front. This right here is Banana Anna. As we talk about McCoy Rodeo Company and the horses that they bring, I will tell you, if anything with that banana name in him is usually pretty tough. This cowboy's got him a good draw. Got him a good start down across there as he got ready to go. Nice ride. Let's see what they think for Lake and Alley from the Alley Crew. Pulling planks for us down there is going to be none other than Preston Burr, better known as Putin. And Putin doing a good job taking over the flanking uh, chores for McCoy Rodeo Company. Out there in the pen, Travis Sheets and Bo Franzen doing a great job picking up. All right, we're going to move down to what will be the final man, the first section. Waiting for the score to come in for Lake and Alley right here, and then we'll go down to the X Cross X Ranch, Collins Cattle Company. Latigo is going to be riding for them. And 73, 73 for Lake and Alley. Going to put him at about third place unofficially. As we go to the final man in the first section of the Bronx riding right here, it's going to be Latigo Collins. Latigo Collins on a Bronx they call Prairie Chicken. Thank you to Amarillo National Bank. They are the sponsors of this great event. And also, we would like to say thank you to Cerveza Modelo and Amarillo Convention and Visitors Bureau. A lot of great sponsors we'll talk about. Here comes your final cowboy in section one. 
big rear out right here as the cowboy starts down across. Around to the right he goes. Gonna ride him like he's sitting in grandma's rocking chair. All right, Cowboys are right down here in front of us. Likes his ride, walks back. Confidence and swagger. Looks just like whenever Tina's walking out of the kitchen. She's just like, yep, yeah, I just killed it. We got it. We know how good this is. She's a boss lady right there. What do we got? Let's see what the time score is. 78th top spot for the time being. Let's see what they come in for Latigo College. And that's going to be enough. It's going to put him in there at 71, 71. So, unofficially, here's how it plays out. 78 is going to be the top spot. 77 is going to be second. Then we're going to drop down to 73 and a pair of 71s. I'm going to find out if we're going to see Thompson Ring.